Hey everybody. Actually, I should say like, hey you. Uh, I don't know if you got that, but if you did, it's funny. Um, so I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. It's Sunday night, so the weekend's not over, but uh, I'm on my way home. I door dash a little bit. I mean, I, you know, not quite a hundred bucks, but I'm going home. I'm tired. I had a good weekend. Uh, I spent it with Manisha. We uh, just hung out and we talked about, uh, honestly, we talked about treatment and stuff. Um, let's see. Talked to Corey. He was all for me coming down or getting together with him and, you know, putting his story on here. And, um, so pretty much this is just an update. So I'm going to uh, look into, like, talking about topics and maybe making this uh, more legitimate or more like organized um, I'm still seeing a lot of people posting this one these couple of Facebook uh, groups I'm a part of like they're looking for treatment but they're scared to get it they are trying to just make excuses uh, about not getting help and that's just what it is our excuses um, my do I don't have anybody watch my dog or uh, I don't have a babysitter. I mean, you just gotta. If you really want help, you'll get it. The first several times, oh man, there was a freaking Ferrari. One day, I don't. I, it probably will never happen. I'll probably never even sit in a Ferrari. But I'd like to have one. I'd like to own one. But we'll see. Uh, step one was getting off drugs. So now that's accomplished. Uh, step two, become a millionaire. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but anyways. So I'm excited. I'm still excited. I'm still doing the cash giveaway. Someone's going to win 100 bucks on the first. One of six people. So... You got about a, you got about a, like a 17% chance of winning. I don't really know. 15%. I don't fucking don't know. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to. I'm, uh, I'm probably like 20 minutes away from home. I'm gonna get home, relax. I got some laundry to do some laundry to put away, uh, and then I'm just going to research some stuff on um, how to make this a better experience, no one's viewing, I can't get views, I'm going to have to like, figure out a way to get my shit out there more, um, I'll figure it out though. So like, uh, trying to think of like a really good story I could tell. Um, I don't know if it'd be appropriate. I'm going to tell it anyways, and then we'll see what happens. But okay, so, um, I had a drug dealer. He was a young mixed kid he uh had dreads he was just a small kid he wasn't very intimidating but uh over the time i had introduced people i knew to him you know because that's what you do you just the drug world you you introduce your people to your dealer and then your dealer in turn like gives you you know better deals for giving him business or whatever but Anyways, uh, 
one of my one of my not my friends, one of my acquaintances I introduced him to uh ended up getting him getting over on him with uh two fake one hundred dollar bills. The dealer's name was Fuzz, his nickname was Fuzz. I don't know his real name, but he uh was pissed, called me and asked me if I had anything to do with it, and I was like, no, I didn't, because I didn't have anything to do with it. The uh, shit bag, I don't put names out there, but I'm going to put this shit bag's name out there. His name's Jay Nip. He's a piece of shit. And uh, I, if he ever sees this and has a problem with what I'm saying, he can come. He knows where I live. Um, he knows how to get a hold of me. But uh, he's the one who got him over for fake money and so a few months go by, and I, uh, I'm going to Fuzz, you know, nothing, nothing's coming about, nothing, nothing, he never says anything about it again. One day I walk in there, and, uh, I asked him, I was like, so have you, uh, have you heard from Jay? Have you got, have you got back at him, you know, like, he's like, no, and he stands up. And when he stands up, like eight of his little cronies stand up. And they surround me. And uh, Fuzz gets in my face and he was like, I'm going to ask you one question. If you lie to me, I'm jacking you. And he was like, did you have anything to do with Jay giving me fake money? I was like, no. Wait. Fucking punches me. Gives me a right hook. But he's so fucking little, it didn't even phase me. Like... I'm, he's like 5'5", five five, so like I'm towering over him. Didn't even phase me. And I think he was surprised by that because uh, he was like, all right, I'm going to ask you again. And I said no again because I didn't. Well, this time he had a, everybody start jumping me. So I went, <laughs> but by this point I had the, I had the heroin. He had, I had bought the heroin already, so it was in my hand. Well, when... Uh, when they started hitting me, I went to the ground. I went into like automatic defensive mode. Like I was protecting myself. I knew I had no shot against nine fucking people. And uh, plus they had guns and shit. So if I would have fought back, I probably would have been buried in the fucking hill somewhere. No one would have ever heard from me again. They probably would have gotten away with it too. But uh, anyway, so I go to the ground. I'm trying to cover my face the best I can, but I, you got nine people kicking at you. They're kicking me, like, and they are connecting. Like, I'm starting to see white light. Like, I'm starting to go out. I'm, I'm about to get knocked out. But they've been kicking me for, like, it seemed to me for an eternity. But it was probably about 30 seconds. And then uh, they stop. I get up. There's a pool of blood. Like, I am leaking. Like, like um, I am just, it's coming out of me. And uh, I'm surprised I didn't pass out from blood loss. But the whole time they're kicking me, all I'm worried about is the dope in my hand. I'm like, please don't get, please don't mess, you know. That's how, that's a f sick mind, you know. Like, that's an ad addicted, sick mind. You're getting your face beat in. And potentially going to the hospital and all, all I'm worried about is the heroin. My, the left side of my face was like freaking out to hear. It was, oh my God, it was bad. I'm so, I should probably went to the hospital. I'm pretty sure I had a concussion. Uh, I chipped my tooth. Um, I got it fixed though since then, but um, it was horrible. So that's just a shitty experience, you know? Like, oh, don't, you don't wanna go down that. You don't wanna live that life. I don't know what the hell I was doing. like. You know, I got in the car after I took that beating and uh, just went on like nothing happened, you know, just went home. Uh, yeah, I remember all that just like it happened. And that was probably, that happened probably five years ago. That was about five years ago. So, but I remember everything like it was yesterday. So there's just like a crappy story for you, you know, if you've never been an addict and just uh, if you decide to go down that path, that's probably one of the experiences you'll uh, encounter. Um, 
a lot of people get jumped in trap houses, but I haven't seen Jay Nip since then. But I that I I, I just have no I had no nothing for him. I I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. I uh, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, hopefully my videos will become more organized and more uh, educational because these are, this is for educational purposes. And I uh, I am trying to help people. I want I want to help addicts and uh, I want maybe the families of addicts to understand what it's why the addict makes the choices he makes because. No one voluntarily gets their head bashed in and, like, goes back for more, you know? Um, so, I'm going to get off here. Uh, have a great day, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon.